Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today. Sasha here, and boy howdy, yes y'all, I know very late, Tuesdays with a T, it was supposed to happen earlier this week, today is actually Saturday, but I figure not to leave y'all hanging. So yeah y'all, last week, because this is the last week of January, I hope January has been a great start to you for 2021 and one month down 12 or excuse me <laughs> 11 more to go can't math right now y'all sorry about that but um uh, yeah y'all this month unfortunately if I wasn't so bogged down I would have done the hot tea month celebration but y'all I uh, I can't right now. I am so super duper tired and um yeah, I'm just gonna crank these three videos out that I owe y'all. Um and you know a lot of things have happened, but let's just get right on to the tea because I have dinner just about ready to be served, so I can't keep uh, my mother waiting. But yeah, y'all, this time what's on the steeping block is Vitacup Slim Tea Pods. I was surprised um, that this variety was available in the K-Cups. Um, this is their, like I said, Slim Tea Pods with Garcinia, Acai Berry, B Vitamins, and if you see the red box for Vitacup, that's dealing with uh, metabolism and diet, which I should be worried about. <laughs> but when I record my Wellness Wednesday, y'all will know why, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, 16 teapods in a pack. I just opened it. This is my first one that I'm about to sample. This is how they look pretty basic but that's not the point i mean yeah attractive packaging is something but it's not a necessity it's just a addition so they chose for their slim k-cup pods dark oolong which is very very understandable and interesting understandable because oolong tea along with Pu'er, have been known to help with weight loss. Um, granted, you drink them on a regular basis and follow a um, low-calorie diet. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let's go on and read the description, because y'all know that's how I like to do it. Uh, it says, let's narrow it down. Gourmet tea. A smooth, full-body, dark oolong tea with a natural acai flavor for a sweet and fruity finish. Plus, Slim Boosters, powerhouse superfoods, and essential vitamins to help keep your wellness goals on track. Garcinia Cambogia, naturally derived, derived excuse me, from the rind, this exotic fruit works exact extract, excuse me, works with your fitness routine, which I have none, uh, to give your to give you a leg up on shaping up. Acai berry. This nutrient-dense superfruit is native to the Amazon. It is a rock star antioxidant and an adaptogen to be reckoned with. And of course, we have our good old vitamins B1, B5, B6, B9, and B12. This powerhouse blend makes it easy to get a brilliant combination of nutrients to power your body. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, nutrition facts are as follows, 16 servings per container, serving size is one cup, uh, calories per serving is five, um, let's see, total fat zero, sodium zero, carb zero, protein zero, calcium 50 milligrams, iron 0 0.5 milligrams, potassium 70 milligrams, Thiamine, which is B1, 4.5 milligrams, vitamin B6, 5 point, or excuse me, 5 milligrams, folate, which is B4, uh, or B4 derivative, 
164 micrograms of dietary folate um dfe dietary folate equivalent i believe vitamin b12 240 micrograms and pentothenic acid b5 10 milligrams and then it also says we uh, oh excuse me a bodacious tea that fits like a glove we all get by with a little help from our friends hydro oh hydroxy citric acid Garcinia Cambogia and Acai Berry work together to create a blend that's all fired up and ready to go. Expect a sweet treat with a subtle fruity note or with subtle fruity notes uh, mixed with a rich dark oolong tea. Paired with a nutritious diet and exercise, our slim tea is the perfect sidekick to your health and fitness goals. So the directions are as follows. Load single serve pod onto machine. Choose eight fluid ounce option. Place mug below brewing outlet, of course. Duh. Um, do not remove foil seal before brewing. Allow pods to cool before removing to recycle. And then the ingredients are as follows. Dark oolong tea. Garcinia cambogia. Hmm, not familiar with what STD period means or is abbreviated for. STD to 60%. Hydroxy citric acid, acai powder, natural acai flavor, vitamin blend, pantothetic acid, pyridoxine, thiamine, methyl cyanoco, uh, oh, excuse me, methylcobalamin, and methylfolate. And then you see all these here, but I'll read them out to you. Vegan, soy free, gluten free, recyclable. BPA free worldwide ingredients, but made in the USA. So, whew, that was a mouthful. I hate that I couldn't do hot tea month with y'all, but um, hopefully by March, which is month of matcha, I'll be able to come back and um, do some videos full swing. But yeah, y'all, it's just been really crazy. And I haven't been able to um, fully commit. To a video but i'm like geez louise sasha i know you're tired but come on we actually have to do the last week of the month videos at least at a bare minimum so yeah oh and y'all if in case you're wondering where i am i'm still in the, i'm or not nah, i'm still in but i'm in the sun room or the florida room as it's called in, like some places uh some people may adopt but yeah, I'm in the sunroom because this is actually uh, where I work from home. And um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to not work in my room like my last job. My last job, I was pretty much doing everything in my room. And to be honest, it felt kind of stuffy. I, I won't lie. I'm, I'm appreciative that my mother, you know, made a, a space out here for me that I could work efficiently in a different location and it kind of helps with like you know okay this is work mode let's do it get to work you know but yeah i ain't gonna lie it gets cold as heck out here especially um this time of year um for the northern hemisphere folk <laughs> okay y'all well enough on that let's well, tease about daggone near lukewarm instead of hot how i had it so yeah y'all for this video i decided to have the tea hot and i'm not going to add anything to it um even though this is like six o'clock so i'm off my fast but you know just to get the full taste of the tea you know so y'all um shucks the lighting in here is uh kind of wishy-washy so um it just looks like regular oolong tea. There's nothing special about it. The scent. I do get a fruity scent. So they weren't lying with that. So I would hope that scent would translate translate well into the taste. So y'all, without further ado, I don't want to keep y'all too long. Because I have Thirsty Thursday. Or excuse me, I have Wellness Wednesday and Thirsty Thursday to do. So I got to get those videos out to you all as well. But So without further ado, y'all. Here we go. This is Vita Cups Slim Teapod, the Dark Oolong Hot. Cheers, y'all. Mm. 
So, it's definitely got a nice fermentation. That's with um, typical oolong teas. I get the bold, bitter oolong. But then the acai kind of carries it out and balances that bitterness with um, the fruity taste. Is it sweet? Not really. I wouldn't call it sweet. But I would love to have this. I would love to try this iced. So maybe for June, y'all, I'll do the um, iced for iced tea month. I'll try this iced as well. But y'all, I don't think I need to take another sip. But eh, let's go right for it. And I don't know, I um, get like a sort of, I think it's a characteristic of acai that it kind of remotely, I mean really remotely, tastes like chocolate. Not like full-blown, like a Hershey bar in your mouth sort of deal or like well, one of those fancy chocolate bars. But I mean like the taste of chocolate. Um Keep in mind, I'm not really a big fan of acai. I don't have like acai flavored things and I don't go out of my way to get acai flavored things. But if if that's a characteristic of acai, then it's really interesting. Really interesting. I thought I wasn't going to be able to finish this, but y'all, I'm really thirsty. <laughs> so um, yeah, hopefully I'm not going to be too hopped up on caffeine because oolong tea does have caffeine in it, I believe. Surprised they don't tell you what the caffeine amount is unless they took it out, which I doubt. I know oolong tea is not caffeine free. Oolong and pu'er. Pu'er um, is one of the higher tea concentrations or higher caffeine concentrations for tea. Um, second to yerba mate, I believe. So, I eh, hope I'm not bouncing all over the walls tonight. But if if that's the case, so be it, y'all. I do this for y'all. <laughs> and also, it's my fault because I chose to run around town um, for a little bit. And, well, stay in for the morning. Then run around town for the afternoon. And, um, yeah, that's that's what I get for procrastinating. I could have did this, like, honestly, in the morning. One of my day, well, no, for Monday or Tuesday morning, but certainly couldn't do it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because, y'all, I worked 12-hour shifts back to back to back for those days. So, kind of hard to fit in, um, you know, shooting the video when you're, like, dead tired. So, yeah, y'all, uh, let's go on and give the verdict, shall we? <laughs> Usually have the product in my hand, y'all. Forgive me, it's been a while, but I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. So, when it comes to Vitacup Slim Tea Pods, out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would rate these products... Or I would rate this product. I'd rate it a good. I rate it a good. If I had to, you know, try the slim line of Vitacups products, defo on board. Um, I haven't had their coffee. I know we we have tons of it because my mother bought a whole bunch of the slim coffee. Target has so much. Um, of these on sale. Well, not this, because the teapods I got from Amazon. But the coffee, yeah, she tells me to go run down to Target and stock up if I can. So I do. So, I mean, the coffee I could try. I think the coffee, it does have Garcinia in it, but I don't think it has acai berry. I think it has, like, what does it have? I think, like, uh, maybe ginseng or something. I don't know, though, but... You can always uh, go to Vitacup's website and look it up. But, uh, yeah, the Slim Teapods, for something like uh, Dark Oolong, I was expecting extremely bitter to the point where, you know, mm, <laughs> no, but it's actually nicely balanced, like I said before. Um, 
if you're not a fan of fermented teas, then you might want to skip this one out because there is that taste of fermentation. Um, oh, I, I, to I, for to I totally forgot how to tell y'all how I brewed it. I brewed it the same way as the instructions state. Eight out setting. Um, I put the not the hot chocolate or hot cocoa or other option versus the regular default coffee or strong option. Strong option is for coffee. I've never done it for tea, but it kind of takes too long for coffee. And um, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. I would rate it a good. I would get it again um, if there was a sale. This one, they had the 72 um, count, I believe, which is like four of those. Is it four of those? Uh, no. Um, I don't know, but it's a 72 count, y'all. Uh, trying to think what. It couldn't be 12, no. Oh, well, no. Yeah, they have the 72, which costs like $40, $50. And I'm like, at the time, because I'd never tried it before, I was like, no, I want the 16, so I know what I'm getting myself into. But I would definitely get the um, 72 count if it was on sale again. Um, so, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Tuesdays with a T. I hope y'all can forgive me for giving y'all a episode so late. I know I apologize. Um, yeah, y'all. It's just work takes more time out of my schedule than anything. So, yeah, I'm just really out of it. Them's the breaks. I got money to make and debt to get myself out of. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I haven't given up completely. Um, it's just, yeah. I just got to squeeze in and make do with what I can do on my um, schedule. But thank you for watching, y'all. That's going to do it for me. Um, like I said, I got two other videos to record. So I'll do that after dinner. I'm probably going to like spill my guts on well this Wednesday. Because, yeah, the work has a lot to do with like and, you know, I'm not going in the direction that I should be going. <laughs> and it sucks. Because. I don't know why I did that, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> and it sucks because. Um, you know. I was doing so good. You know, t last year. And then this year. Everything after February. Mar like going towards March, everything crashed. So much happened. But I'm still here, y'all. I'm still here, still take it, playing it safe, taking precautions, not going out unless I necessarily need to. So that's what I, that's what I preach. So that's what I should practice, right? Um, also, you know, Stay home because there's a there's another variant of this virus going around, which is even more deadlier and like drug resistance. That's a real big yikes, you know. So. Oh, I, I yeah, you can tell I've, it's been a while since I've done this. I forgot to do my little outro. So thank you very much for watching. Y'all know the routine. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. And you and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products that I try, the reviews I put out. And folks, I will see you all very soon <laughs> for Wellness Wednesday and then subsequently Thirsty Thursday. So, like I said, y'all... Take care. Take it easy. Make it a great day today and every day. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Don't go out unless you necessarily have to. But if you do, please wear a mask. Please wash your hands, preferably. Or if you can't wash your hands, get some hand sanitizer on deck. Practice social distancing. Please wear a mask. 
Um, don't do anything that's going to put you in a jeopardizing position. Because, yeah, like I said, um, this mutated virus um, ain't nothing to play around with. Um, yeah, it's it, it just, you know, hopefully we find a resolution. But, yeah, don't, don't, don't play, you know, naive to what's going on. And yeah, folks, until then, this is Sasha signing off. Bye now.